Hi, I'm Tomasz from Collabora and I will talk about uh, the PDF and other graphic improvements. So I decided to change a little bit the topic here. Uh, first uh, was like PDF annotations uh, and uh, I figured that uh, there is not uh, many improvements that are specific to annotations to have a, a complete talk. So uh, I decided to add a little bit of uh, other graphic improvements that are also related to uh, PDF uh, in in a way. Uh, so last year I had a talk that I where I extensively talked about uh, PDF uh, annotations, PDF searching, and so on. So I want to recap uh, this uh, this year. Uh, what I talked uh, last year uh, in a concise way, uh, I, <laughs> I hope. Uh, so, the improvements uh, to PDF that uh, I did uh, already last year. So, th this is uh, PDF uh, as a graphic object. So, this is not just uh, normal. Uh, importing of PDFs uh, in draw. This is like PDF, we have a PDF that is a graphic object. Uh, uh, we can we can uh, import it or load it for uh, uh, PDF as an image and uh, then uh, show it inside the document. So there is a special, uh, special uh, import that uses this and this is uh, uh, opens the PDF in draw and it opens the PDF in such a way that there is one graphic yeah so one graphic object per page so if you have a, a draw page uh, each page has one graphic object and uh, the page uh, index uh, has uh, uh, each each page has uh, then uh, its uh, uh, different uh, PDF uh, page also, so that uh, it uh, mimics like you are opening uh, a PDF. Uh, this is quite convenient because uh, we also have a special uh, special uh, implementation inside PDF export where. When we save a PDF as a graphic object, it also it o doesn't just write the the rendered uh, image to the PDF, but also writes in the original PDF page stream uh, into the new exported file, so that uh, the fidelity of the of the PDF is like uh, original. Uh, then. What we can also do here is we can search inside these uh, PDF graphic objects. Uh, this is uh, working quite well. Uh, ho how this is done is uh, that uh, we, because each uh, PDF graphic object has also the original uh, PDF uh, graphics be behind it. So the, the, the binary stream is stored inside the memory. And we can open this uh, uh, binary stream with uh, PDFium and use the PDFium search. Uh, and then we have also the limited support for PDF annotations. Uh, uh, so let's continue. Okay, I already said this. So. Uh, so we we have PDF stream in the memory and uh, about searching we have the PDF stream in the memory and uh, we open the original stream uh, in PDF and search and uh, then we have to also integrate this into LibreOffice search mechanism so that it works seamlessly uh, like like uh, each PDF object uh, is uh, each. Uh, PDF PDF graphic object is uh, like uh, contained uh, inside the. Uh, so. So next is uh, about uh, PDF uh, annotations. Uh, 
So of course PDF files have uh, annotations in and we want to preserve these uh, annotations uh, and potentially also we want to change it, uh, change them. Uh, PDF has support for many kinds of annotations like text, links and uh, lines, you can draw squares, circles, polygons, polylines, uh, you can highlight the text, underline text, squiggly text, track it out and so on and so on and so on. So what what is currently supported? Well, so the basic one is just to have a, a annotation and this corresponds with uh, what is already supported inside uh, the raw, draw annotations. Uh, of course there is a little bit difference here because uh, inside uh, Inside PDF, you can uh, choose like color, custom colors for 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 uh, annotation and uh, additional metadata that uh, is not supported in RAW. So this had to be extended. And uh, then other is uh, what is at, uh, not supported at all inside. Uh, uh, was not supported at all inside draw is that uh, any kind of vector graphic annotations or like text highlighting annotations so for there is limited support for vector graphic annotations uh, they mostly uh, work but I'm sure there are some like for example lines uh, lines uh, have like uh, endings and uh, starts and en endings uh, on both sides, uh, which can be like, uh, which can form an arrow, and this is currently not yet supported. And uh, text highlight annotations are also like pa partially supported. For example, because these are just uh, rectangles, uh, what what is uh, a problem here is that we we draw the annotation the highlight annotation uh, over the text and normally this should be under the text so that we can clearly see what the text is but uh, currently there, there is no way that we can do this here unless we unless we draw all, all the whole PDF uh, uh, in, in uh, our own so what's not uh, yet supported is like more complicated annotations like uh, the annotations that uh, are always visible here are part of the document and uh, export support was uh, still not implemented which is like only the the original draw annotations is supported but uh, when we have like uh, any vector graphic annotation or text highlight annotations that uh, we can show but we cannot export it again so this is this can be a problem uh, and this is now ho how it currently works like like this inline annotation so this is not supported but as you can see all and uh, you can also see here that uh, this line uh, does have the endings correctly uh, but others you can see that looks like that it's all everything is uh, uh, in this uh, example is uh, supported so now I want to go to another topic that uh, after uh, there is also, uh, work that I did uh, after that is like this PDF graphic objects memory improvements the problem is that uh, if we want to actually use uh, this PDF as graphic objects and uh, use in draw uh, uh, each graphic object uh, uh, in each uh, page, the problem that we have here is uh, that uh, the, uh, the graphic objects, how, how, how it, uh, we store the original data, so as part of the GFX link and also part as vector graphic data the problem here was that the original data was always duplicated uh, another problem here is also that uh, uh, it's not just because uh, uh, 
also the the export itself must be uh, uh, modified because there is uh, more duplication for example each page has at least one graphic object so if we have uh, 15 pages you have 15 graphic objects and there was not Im there was no implementation that uh, would uh, prevent duplication of uh, this PDF data. So this we always duplicated for each graphic object uh, had uh, its own uh, original PDF inside. And of course, there were like some PDFs uh, with a hundred of pages uh, that and uh, that caused a, a problem uh, with the memory. Uh, and severe, uh, with this cause severe swapping of uh, graphic objects and of course uh, uh, sometimes also crashes. So what we were forced here to do is like uh, to minimize this uh, as much as possible. Uh, so ideally there should be only one PDF uh, uh PDF uh, data, binary data uh, in memory uh, for all instances uh, where we use it. So I introduced this binary data container class. Binary data container class is just a simple uh, class that can be shared uh, 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 among uh, a different other classes. But uh, what's important is that it uh, holds the one holds and handles the one binary data stream and it should prevent unnecessary copies uh, so I implemented this uh, and put it inside the uh, GFX link and uh, vector graphic data so now they always share one instance of uh, binary data container and uh, we don't unnecessarily copy uh, have uh, multiple copies of the same pdf uh, data uh, also i modified the import so that import doesn't uh, pdf import doesn't uh, just put uh, uh, just put uh, copies of uh, PDF data to each uh, uh, graphic, but also again shares this with uh, this binary data container. Uh, I also added the, the Uno interface uh, X binary data container and wrap this bi binary data container. So we can also tra transport uh, the binary data container through Uno and we don't need to convert this to sequence of bytes uh, which will again just make a copy unnecessarily and this again uh, reduces the number of copies uh, related to this is also swapping uh, how, how we swap graphics uh, uh, what how swapping of graphics generally works is that when, when we get a problem with the memory, say memory that is, uh, we, we consume too much memory, we need to swap uh, graphics uh, in. And what what uh, happens at this time that the graphic object goes and removes all binary binary bitmaps uh, and uh, vector graphic uh, data. Uh, so so that it releases the memory, but it also uh, uh, removes uh, GFX link and uh, GFX link contains the usually compressed or the original in case of PDF uh, binary uh, data uh, and because both vector graphy data and GFX, GFX link data uh, were uh, destroyed uh, we also lost the binary uh, uh, binary data container uh, and uh, what happens in this uh, time all the stream is then the stored insert the temporary uh, file on the disk this is a 
problem because uh, when we trigger uh, a lot of swapping, uh, this also uh, triggers a lot of uh, IO and uh, it stalls everything down. So if we just keep the uh, GFX link uh, intact, uh, we can prevent this. Uh, so, so this is uh, how, how I changed and uh, in, uh, changed the swapping uh, algorithm and it uh, worked much better. Generally like this, uh, if we have some uh, uh, image that is compressed, it usually doesn't take a lot of uh, memory. So this is now working much better than it was working before. Uh, the original problem with this is again when we have a uh, load uh, our PDF uh, graphic objects in in, uh, in a draw. There were some problems uh, with this because it took a lo long long time to uh, to open a PDF file uh, because it constantly keep uh, kept uh, swapping in and swapping out. Uh, and this was not fast at all. So the the last uh, thing that I uh, I have is uh, uh, we implemented like PDF rendering uh, DPI configuration, which is also uh, available now. So when uh, when we use PDF as a graphic object, uh, the graphic uh, the PDF page is rendered as a bitmap uh, and it uses a certain DPI for this. The DPI is relatively low, like like uh, 96 DPI, so di we, we can keep the uh, bitmap mem uh, bitmap uh, small, so we don't consume a lot of uh, memory and rendering is uh, higher. Uh, now this can be uh, changed, so the, con the configuration uh, and uh, Currently, this is only an uh, ex uh, environment variable PDF import resolution DPI, uh, which can be then changed to higher if uh, this if you if you want uh, a more better re resolution uh, rendered bitmap of the PDFs. Uh, and generally, this is it. Thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, bye.